It is time now to know what's on the front pages of Nigerian newspapers. Lawyer and social development advocate Jideo Logun is still here in the studio. And in-house analyst Obani Akinwale joins us now. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. All right, we'll begin with uh, the national economy. Slow rollout of vaccines impacts Nigeria's economic recovery as IMF retains nation's 2.5% uh, growth forecast. Details of the story on the pages of the national economy. To the leadership newspaper now. Naira may slide as CBN bans forex sale to BDCs. Naira may slide as CBN bans forex sale to BDCs. Apex uh, Bank's decision confirms leadership report that uh, Nigeria's economy was bleeding from multiple exchange rates. BDCs got uh, $5.28 billion in 11 months. El operators fear dollar scarcity. MSMEs panic. To the business day now, how double-digit growth can lift millions out of poverty. For more, you find details of the story on the pages of the business day. To the daily trust in major policy shift, CBN cancels 2.3 trillion forex sale to BDCs. CBN cancels 2.3 trillion naira for sales to BDCs. Practice unsustainable. Immediately, uh, mixed reactions as experts fear more pressure. Operators flaunting ru flouting rules and uh, aiding financial crimes. CBN governor Abkan silent on new policy allegations. To the Guardian newspaper now. In rare courage, CBN weakens BDC operations, stops FX funding. Uh, indicts operators for money laundering. Uh, we receive 5,000 fresh BDC applications uh, monthly, says MFLA. To the News Direct, banner for sales shocks 5,000 BDCs importers. This continuation to mount pressure on exchange rate analysts. All right, to the Nigerian Tribune, to, still talking the same, talking about the same story. To plug leaky reserves, CBN stops forex sales to BDCs, accuses international bodies of illegal forex dealing, asks bank to set up teller points for forex sales to customers, retains NPR at 11.5%. To the Daily Sun, more trouble for Igboho. But a Republic presses fresh charges against pro Yoruba nation agitator. Nigeria filed no charge against him, lawyers reveal. To the Vanguard newspaper, Sunday Igbo who faces fresh charges in Bene Republic. No date fixed for hearing. Stop pressurizing Bene Republic to extradite Igbo who Yoruba group tells federal government. To the Nation newspaper, Igbo who to Bene Court. I fled Nigeria to avoid being killed. Agitator sent to prison. Lawyer, he is charged with illegal entry into Cotonou. Federal government here to file paper before court. No date yet for next hearing. All right, to the Daily Times. Now, federal government to Nigerians in diaspora. Stop sponsoring cessationist groups. Says fake news, hate speech de detrimental to nation's peace, security. To the first news newspaper, PDP mocks Buhari over London trip for a virtual meeting, says it's a decoy to attend to his ill health. And on the front page of the blueprint, a number of primaries, Matawali's defection threaten APC's congresses. To the Punch newspaper, fresh varsity strike looms. Federal government asks you resume fight on payment platforms. Utah's lack tax deduction. We can't pay without deducting tax, declares federal government. Education ministry wrong. Uh, Utah's deducts tax. It encompasses everything, says Asu. And finally, on the front page of uh, this day, UK, Nigeria's security challenges overwhelming, multi-pronged. Seeks better strategy to tackle unemployment, says Britain ready to offer consular services to Namdekanu may give country a new grant of $125 million for education. All right, let's uh, begin with this major story uh, that is almost on all the pages of the papers this morning, talking about the move uh, by the CBN banning uh, forex sales to about to BDCs, basically, that's Bureau de Change, and there are reactions coming out of that move. 
I, I wonder what you make of this development, uh, Chidi. It's, it's quite disturbing uh, to the business community because, as described, it's really a shock. Uh, when you also realize that even before this action is taken, the dollar is already commanding about 500 naira mm. to a dollar. And despite that, very scarce. But we need to ask a simple question. The, it's a matter of policy. Right. You know, I wanted to change dollar in Canada, and it, you had to follow through a process of screening and everything. But here in Nigeria, you can go to Allen Avenue roundabout and buy dollars on the street. Mm -hmm. I recall that at a time, some years ago, when dollar rose to about 500, a Nigerian complained and he was arrested by DSS. But at the point in time, he was released. So how are we managing our economy mm -hmm. that we are at this point? We need to industrialize. We need to energize the economy. We need to empower the private sector. We need, you know, but all these policies, some assault, we create a lot of hardship. And we have, we have read about the predictions now, yes. what we follow thereafter. So when you add that to what we are going through, it's likely that now to even get Forex to bring in fuel into Nigeria becomes an issue. So we have all these issues, and I can only wish that the government will sit back again and get back to the action table, not the drawing table. Uh, but, but the government has concerns, which it believes that uh, this move will address. Talks about uh, the leaks and also accusing international bodies of uh, illegal forex dealings. I wonder if you see that as addressing the issues the, it has raised up. Uh, I'll view it from two points. In terms of uh, two sides, I mean, in terms of what RCB is going to bring on uh, an average citizen. But nonetheless, I want to look at it from the point of we can eat our cake and have it. Right. And sincerely, I've always advocated for a more of a protectionism in this country. Sincerely, the way we are going, uh, if the government or the people that make policies are not firm about policy, we are going to go the way of Zimbabwe. Because mm. you'll find out that we require Webaro to be pushing Naira to buy a dollar. And what I'm saying is, is this. This country is import driven. Everything we use is in country. Our hair, we import it. Our water, we buy foreign water. Our chocolate, we buy foreign chocolate. The petroleum, you just mentioned now, we import it. The rice we are eating, we import it. The way they used to make the bread, we are importing it. So, with economy, foreign reserve tribes, when they drive on importation, that's one. Two, I think, again, the CBN governor is supposed to be flogged. Now, if the, so? CBN go, if the CBN is a regulator and a distributor of the forex to banks or to BDCs, I think responsibility on them to give account of who and who has this money been doled out to. There is no way in the world that you will bring a foreign currency into that country and you want to change. They will ask for your international passport. Mm -hmm. They will scan it. Yeah. And when you go, they will say you can go. But in this country, like you mentioned, Am I the one giving the BDC the license to open? It's just like the era of Jonathan, where there's everybody has license for depot and there is no depot. Everybody import fuel, but there is no fuel at, at the seaport. The same thing is happening now. It's just money for the boys. How do you have 5,000 licenses for BDC and banks are downsizing? You ask yourself, who are the operators of this BDC? Are they not their colleagues? So we, 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 are, we are all shouting about uh, terrorism, banditry. How do these people source their funding? It's true this means because you know the only money you cannot trace in Nigeria is money you don't get from the bank. Mm. And I can walk up to uh, Aboki even at CMB Road there and said, I need one, I need a uh, one million dollars. How much you go sell them? The guy will tell me that okay, bring this with I'll bring it to Ghana to your house. You can imagine even our national intelligence agency, I think John uh, Ambassador of Kesaga, that they saw about forty something million mm. in Ikoi. So you can even imagine within the government, where did they source those forex for? Remind the case of Dansuki when they, they said he didn't give me 30 million, he gave me thirty thousand dollars. So it shows that it is not a function of whether BDC or no BDC. It's a, it shows clearly that CBN has failed in their responsibility to regulate who gets what and how gets what. You can't say, okay, you walk into uh, my finance department now and said uh, one million error goes out of Africa. They will say, okay, one million was paid to me as so 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 day. And this way, so how is CBN disbursing this fund to who and what is being used for? Who is monitoring it? So these are questions we need to ask. All these uh, stifling Nigerians, stifling BDCs, and increasing... 
who is going to who is going to benefit more when the price of dollar increases? Mm. Is it the poor man on the street? No, it's still the banks. Is it the CBN? You go to a bank, they will tell you that uh, a pound is five hundred and sixty naira to a pound, and you go to outside the same bank, the same agent working for the bank mm. will tell you that the pound is about seven hundred and four. So you now ask yourself, who is deceiving who? CBN needs to stop all these rhetorics. They need to, if they have identified that people are laundering money, why should you accuse? Bring, bring a culprit. Put them to law. Laundry is an offense in Nigeria. Why don't you put those business operators behind the bars? Why don't you tell us that they are laundry? Who are they? Are they fictitious human beings? They don't appear anyway. So sometimes when I see these headlines, it gets somebody infuriated at. Are we, do you think we are fools? Nonetheless, as a country, government needs to be firm on our policy. Yeah. If we continue with this import petrol, import rice, import toothpick, import chocolate, the price our foreigners have continued to be debited. And again, we forgot quickly that before this current uh, the Buhari government, uh, President Obama just wants us that they are squandering their foreign reserve. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a good foreign reserve to defend the outside business, our foreign reserve is about 33, $33 billion. And President Obama just left at 68. He was able to clear on the $18 dollars this thing. Uncle Jonathan came and they squandered the foreign reserve. No infrastructure was put in place. So if you look at all these things, we, are, we, we can't put all this blame on this man alone. The uh, aviation worker that was sacked is the one that paid them. The hassle issue, 40 billion, it was the one that released it for them. The coercive issue is the one that released the money for them. So if we have leaders that they are hitting our future and our present, this is what we get. Right. And again, government needs to be deliberate in ensuring that policies are fulfilled to letter. And if you have people like Emei Feli that are going to talk, not to go put BDC that are laundering our money behind bars, I think they should replace them. That would be my view. All right. Let's quickly move on to another issue now, which is also uh, a major story talking about uh, the fresh charges leveled against uh, Igboho. And if you look at uh, <laughs> some of the papers uh, this morning, let's take the Daily Sun, for instance. Uh, it is saying more trouble for Igboho when a republic presses fresh charges against pro Urbanishan agitator Nigeria filed no charge against him, lawyers reveal. Sometimes I love when public commentators come up and say, uh, the law in Benin Republic is good, uh, it's inquisitorial, our uh, own is advertorial, whatever, adversary or whatever. Uh, the, there is law in United Kingdom, Kenya should not do this. See, what you are seeing in Benin Republic is the hand of his voice of Jacob. How so? Who did not commit any crime in Benin. Let's be sincere with ourselves. Really? Nigeria Benin border, you don't, you don't need more than uh, 50 surfers. To tell the guys that you just want to buy something across the border and come back. Except we are fooling ourselves. Take camera day. Mm. See how people are moving in, moving out of Benin. You can go to the next place and buy Benin Turkey and buy Nigeria Pap to eat. <laughs> so if Benin Republic is not coming and said he entered Benin Republic illegally, how? And we fall forgotten easily that there is a HECOAS that allows for free movement, movement of people across our borders. Mm. I will not forget that we started after recently that allows all of us to do trading. We forget our custom union. See. Buhari has gone to London, and everybody is saying he's supposed to go for a factual meeting. You forgot so soon that it was when Buhari traveled to France mm -hmm. that we begin to have some bit of uh, normalcy in Zamfara and Cassina Forest. We are forgotten so soon now that the issue of Inam de Kanu is tied to both Kenya and United Kingdom. And uh, FM Nation is probably said President Buhari will have a sideline meeting mm -hmm. with the British Prime Minister. Mm. And I was watching a, a TV thing yesterday where they were interviewing the, uh, uh, the High Consular of United, United Kingdom in Nigeria. And they were asking her, what is your say about your city that was approved? She said, she said nothing. Mm. She said, but we have said every, every British citizen in Nigeria that has this will give them a consular assistance. So, President, why are you going to London? Whether to go and take care of his head or not, it's just to go and meet his boys. Uruguay and Yata, you've done a good job. Boris Johnson, just keep him <laughs> quiet. And now, Benin Republic, the total population of Benin Republic is about 12 million. Mm. You can't afford a population of 120 million to shut your border against them. See, British interest, Brit, British as they were, they would have loved to have Nigeria North, Nigeria South West to go. But you can't have a population, a consuming population of 200 million, mm. and you want them to divide. Mm. The entire chocolate we are taking from here. Cocoa is coming from Ondo State in Nigeria and it's transported to Liverpool and it's being refined back for us to come and eat in Nigeria. You know what to joke with that? 
You know what they call economic power. You know what they call the buy power. You know what has happened to Twitter now. So all these uh, been the republic coming today and say uh, Igbo enter illegally. How did he enter the plane if he has entered illegally? Mm. Why was the chopper already on the tarmac when he was already taken from there? Why was it that the last week they were able to do two days back to back and now they have said uh, they still want to come and defend himself and they are done indefinitely with no dates? Mm. I will not see what happens in Amdekanu from come to court to logistics and put him on 90 day vacation to come and do NSAS anniversary on October 20. You will see how this one will play out. This, see, President Buhari may not talk. Buhari Putin, Buretai, Olorun Shaki and Co. at all those West African countries, people were saying what? Strategic. It's strategic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, most times we say, uh, this. Ma I'm, not, I'm not supporting how he's treating the Southerners. But are we in the South asking that the president should, do, do, should also send the chopper and be distributing a uh, base cake on the Southern borders where we have Fulani and be so you know when they have this when they go on the northern spree with the ISR, you will see them drum bomb, they will send those fugitives. Should we start the same things out? Mm. So all these things we're talking about, Igbo, Igbo is just a child of circumstances. Unfortunately for him, November 2019, he was in Kogi saying uh you are here to remove your yeah, yellow yeah, uh yeah, yeah, low, uh wa baba uh, wa da. now right. they have now they have not put this man to trouble and it's so unfortunate that uh, he called to make your blessed memory will have done a better job for a man like Igbo. Mm. don't don't like his face don't like his uh, right. choice of what but we, what we see clearly now is that Igbo is a child of circumstances and it is very very important for the government to tread carefully while dealing with Igbo and dealing with him and the canoe because if you're unable to take if we are taking pictures with people that are carrying guns in Zamfara, in Kastina, if we are giving amnesty to people in the Niger Delta, Igbo is only asking for his own right to. And I've said it. After Igbo, another set of people are coming to ask for their own part of national king. Uh, they will give him pipeline monetary contract and he will also keep quiet. So they should be careful with both in the Kanu and Igbo and, and ensure that they don't set this country on fire. All right, your final word on this because we need to go. You know, justice is the conveyor belt of peace that can make room for prosperity. Mm -hmm. And we need the government to go back to justice. Let the commonwealth be for the common good. And all these crises that have been deviling the nation will fizzle away. Mm. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Obania Kinwale Jideolugun for your time on the newspaper review this morning.